This video will show solutions for common Quixie alignment problems. When Quixie is correctly aligned, the display shows both pupils within the measurement zone, and both indicators are green. If either of the indicators is red or pupils are missing, here are solutions for common alignment problems. Pupillary distance setting, seating, leveling, fine-tuning. 1. Initial PD setting. Quixie's viewports are adjusted using the PD dial on top of the device. Notice that the pupillary distance ranges from 47 to 78 millimeters and that viewports move symmetrically. Rotate the dial to adjust the viewports to the patient's estimated PD. When the PD approximately matches the patient's pupils, you will see one or both eye indicators on the display in the next step. 2. Seating. Seat Quixie comfortably flush against the patient's face with no gaps. Position Quixie at a 90 degree angle to the patient's eyes. You will begin to see the eye indicators on the display. 3. Leveling. If both eye indicators are not in a horizontal alignment and within the measurement zone, make sure Quixie is not tilted relative to the patient's face. Tilt can result in an incorrect measurement, erroneously introducing astigmatism into the reading. 4. Fine tuning. If the pupils appear too low on the display, slide Quixie downward. And if they appear too high, slide Quixie upward, always keeping it at a 90 degree angle to the patient's eyes. You will make fine PD adjustments after seating Quixie on the patient's face. If the patient's eyebrow, nose, or cheekbones tilt Quixie out of alignment, seat it more firmly against the patient's face to level it for correct alignment. When both pupils are within the measurement zone and both indicators are green, Quixie is correctly aligned. You're now ready to start the 10-second measurement. If after these steps you are still unable to align both eyes at once, there may be an asymmetry problem preventing binocular measurement. In this case, you should perform the measurements in monocular mode. 